edition of the Madden Franchise Tampa Bay Buccaneers edition. For some week, the for some reason the game last week against the Bengals uh, didn't record properly. Uh, so that one uh, won't be in the stream session, but it was a 21-10 win. The the tough news was Chris McCaffrey is going to be out eight weeks, so Austin Eckler is going to get the start for the next six, seven games for the foreseeable future. We do have one person returning from injury, and that is Cam Chancellor, which is obviously very huge, and that is setting up our Week 9 matchup. It's the 4-3 and Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the road against division rival Carolina Panthers. 3-3-1, three, three and one, the first time these two teams are meeting this season. As we do our playbooks. 20th offense, top 10 defense. That is the story for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers right now. And uh, let's give the Bucks, uh, the Panthers... A nice blue current color rush jersey. And then we will go with our color rush jersey, which is not that one. The 2017 color rush. There we go. And we are ready to go for week nine in the Madden franchise Tampa Bay Buccaneers edition against the Carolina Panthers, division rival. Julio Jones, 24 receptions, 405 yards, 3 touchdowns. Against Alphonse Jeffrey, 42 receptions, 549 yards. There's Christian McCaffrey's stats. He is out. Dante Foreman, the running back for Carolina. Interesting. Calais Campbell, 28 tackles against Brandon Graham, who's out for the year, so he will not be participating in any games going forward. And Aaron Rodgers, 11 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Going against Baker Mayfield, 8 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. And there's a look at AJ Green stats, 44 receptions, 761 yards, three touchdowns, nearing that 1,000-yard mark plateau. And here we are in week number nine, and it's the Buccaneers ready to kick off against the Panthers. And here we go. Kickoff is underway. And it goes into the back of the end zone. And there's Baker Mayfield, looking good in blue. 1,856 total yards, 8 TDs, 8 interceptions on 159 completions. for 238 completions, 159 of those completed. So just a little over 50%, but here he comes. He's got Demarius Thomas, he's got Quincy Anoushua, Wayne Gallman Jr., and Alshon Jeffrey. Cal Cam Chancellor making his return. Here's Baker, looking to throw on the first play. No, he doesn't. He drops back, runs it to his own player, gets hit, and then has to throw it away. A very interesting and awkward play to start the game for Baker Mayfield. Take a look at the Panthers' O-line. Cam Robinson, Justin Britt, Rick Wagner, and then the key receivers, Alshon Jeffrey, Dante Foreman, Demarius Thomas. And it brings up second down and 10. High formation. Buccaneers showing blitz. Baker looking to hand it off to Foreman. Foreman tries to break off a tackle. Just gains a yard there. Not much for Foreman. He'll be going up against Austin Eckler, who, as I mentioned at the top of the broadcast, is coming in for the injured Christian McCaffrey. The hip pointer injury out eight weeks. Here's Baker Mayfield. Third down nine. First third down of the game. Here's Baker getting hit. He's going to get blitzed. He's going to get tackled for a loss. Lorenzo Alexander coming off the left side with the sack. And a big tackle and a big stop for the Buccaneers defense on third down and long. And here's the first punt by Anger. And it's going to go out of bounds around the 30-yard line. And so Aaron Rodgers, who's picked up his gameplay since coming out of the bye week, threw an interception Last week against the Bengals, 11 TDs, 10 interceptions, 1,794 yards, 127 for 190. So his completion percentage is good. His TD to interception ratio, not so great, though. Julio Jones gives him a little pat on the back, and we are ready to go. First down and 10 from the 32. Rodgers going five wide. Interesting call to start the game.
Rodgers looking across the field to A.J. Green. And Green adds that total with a 19-yard gain and a good throw on first down. 750-plus receiving yards for A.J. Green, who's off to a tremendous start. Here's first down 10 from the 49, following that 19-yard reception. Rodgers in the shotgun formation. Hands it off to Eckler. Eckler getting a good block in front. Still chugging along. And Austin Eckler pushing his way down to a first down. A good gain of 11 yards. 17 rushes, 80 yards. Had to come in for Christian McCaffrey, as we mentioned, in that loss, uh, in that win against the Bengals. 21-10. McCaffrey out eight weeks. So Austin Eckler looking to see a lot of action going forward. Good carry on first down, 11 yards. They go back to Eckler. Eckler sees another hole. And Austin Eckler off to a good start today. Gain of six on that play is going to bring up a second and four. And as an offense, you definitely want to give yourself set manageable second and third downs. So second and fourth, third and three, those kind of plays are really going to help an offense proficiency and get them into the playoffs. And here comes second and four. Rodgers looking. He's got Patterson up the middle of the field. Patterson with the completion. And just like that, we're at the 21-yard line of the Panthers. A good gain of 11 yards on that play from Cordell Patterson. Rodgers going shotgun again. Rodgers with the quick throw to Julio Jones. And so far, he's gotten three different receivers involved and an injury to Calais Campbell. And that is a tough injury to see if you're a fan of the Panthers. Calais Campbell out. Let's see if he's out for the game. But it's first down 11 coming up. And a good opening drive here from the Buccaneers. Here's Rodgers handing off to Eckler. Eckler with a big hole. Eckler cutting his way and slicing down to the three-yard line. Good gain of eight on that second down and three. So second and three coming up. This is where the Buccaneers had the most trouble all season long, trying to find a way to punch it in from the goal line. Here's Rodgers. Quick throw. Quick throw. No, he gets sacked and hit by Tahir Whitehead. And it's going to be a loss of four, and it's going to bring up third and seven. So Rodgers with an audible at the line, trying to make a quick throw to Julio Jones, and it's unsuccessful. So this brings up third and seven from the eight. The Buccaneers actually could get a first down. Without getting a touchdown. Here's Rodgers looking to throw. Rodgers going to the end zone. And into the end zone. Julio Jones. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Rodgers throwing his 325th career touchdown. That's a new milestone for number 12. And a great, great opening drive for the Buccaneers. Capped off with a 7-yard touchdown from Julio Jones. The extra point after is good. So it is 7-0 Tampa Bay on an 8-play, 69-yard drive that took 2 minutes and 44 seconds. And you saw a couple different receivers get a reception there. Cordero Patterson, A.J. Green, two to Julio, including that touchdown. And Austin Eckler with a couple runs. And that kick's going to actually hit the upright. So it's going to be first down and 25 from the Panthers. This will be their second drive of the game following that three and out. Here's Baker in the shotgun formation. Baker with the handoff to Gallman. Wayne Gallman pushing his way through and a gain of four there. Wayne Gallman Jr. and Dante Foreman, the running backs for the Panthers. Second and six coming up. Here's a handoff to Foreman. Foreman's going to get met there and a huge hit there. Lorenzo Alexander off to a great start. Two hits and tackles for loss. One of them was sack and one of them coming right there. Just flattening Dante Foreman on that one. And it's going to bring up third down and seven. Third and seven. Baker almost didn't go under center there. Now he's under center. Shotgun formation. Baker looking to throw. He's getting pressured. 
Baker, he's got time and a nice throw there to Demarius Thomas. And Baker Mayfield with his first completion of the game, an 18-yard completion. And just when you thought Baker was in a little bit of trouble, he scrambles his way out. And that's what won him the Heisman at Oklahoma. And I was going pistol formation. And here's a handoff. And it's to Foreman. And Foreman's going to get nothing. And it's another hit. Oh, no, no, not this time. It's not Lorenzo Alexander. But another hit by the defense. Wilson. Second and 11 following that loss of a yard. Baker looking to hand it off again. Here's Gallman. Gallman fighting his way through and a gain of a few there. It's going to bring up third down five. Third and five coming up. He's got two in the back. Hunter Henry and Gallman Jr. Going up the middle. It's Demarius Thomas with the catch. There is a flag on the field. It might be in the area of holding. A legal block in the back. And that is a tough call for the Panthers. So it's just going to be a replay of down. It's going to be third down five. But obviously they don't get the first down because of the penalty. So back at it again, the Panthers. 47 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Baker looking to throw. Baker to his running back. And Gallman, a nice little option play there. Confused the linebacker who was playing in mad coverage. And able to get a first down. I formation. Here's Baker looking to make a play. Baker's going to hand it off to Foreman. Foreman breaking off one tackle. And just a gain of three. Four rushes for two yards. He had 20 rushes, 60 yards, and a touchdown last year. 402 yards and three touchdowns total on the season for Dante Foreman. And this should be the last play of the first quarter. Terrell Pryor Sr. in there as well on the right side. And it's going to be Pryor Sr. He's going to break a tackle. He's going to spin away. And he's going to get a big first down for the Panthers, and that'll do it for the first quarter. It's 7 nothing on a Julio Jones touchdown. But the Panthers are marching. To the 18, they are. First down. Here's a handoff. No, it's an option play. Here's Baker. Baker's going to get hit, and he's going to lose a yard, and Wayne Gallman Jr. is actually going to get hurt on the play. I think he's going to be okay, Gallman Jr., but Wilson coming in in the tackle position, playing for Brandon Graham, and doing an exceptional job as the understudy, stepping up in a big role. Here's second and 11. Following that big hit Baker Mayfield did, took. Now he's going to go on a pitch. Sean Lee reads that perfectly, and it's just going to be a gain of a yard there. But Sean Lee reading that to perfection and able to snuff that toss throw out. And now it's going to bring down third and 10. Here's Baker. Needs to get to this nine for a first down. Looking to throw. And this one's going to get incompleted. Hunter Henry had it for a moment, but it's going to get knocked away by Jonathan Joseph. And they're going to have to settle for about a 34-yard field goal here. So from the right hash of the 18-yard line, here comes the Panthers for a field goal. Trying to get the first points on the game for themselves. And the field goal kick is up. And down the middle it goes. And it's going to be Matt Bryant with that field goal. It's going to make it 7-3. So the Panthers getting some points, cutting the lead to four. But a good stop by the Buccaneers defense in the red zone to hold the Panthers to just those three points. So now the Buccaneers and Aaron Rodgers coming back out. They got a touchdown on Julio Jones from the first play on their first drive. A very successful first drive. Rodgers coming back to the shotgun formation. Rodgers looking. He's running a screen. Right little op option to Eckler. Eckler getting some blocks, but not a lot of blocks. And Rodgers starts the day 5 for 5 for 54 yards and a touchdown. And a good play there on first down to get some positive yards. So it's going to bring up second and 5. And we've seen Austin Eckler in the run game featured. And that was his first time catching the ball. A.J. Boy with the tackle. 
Here's Rodgers going single back formation. Hand off to Eckler. Eckler with a hole. Eckler with a nice big hole and a big gain of 12 there for Austin Eckler. And Austin Eckler off to a great start so far. First down and 10 from the 42. Here's Rodgers, shot confirmation. He's going to go play action. Rodgers looking, trying to throw to his tight end, Hooper. Hooper is going to get knocked down, and that's going to be the first incompletion of the game. Rodgers was getting pressured, and he just wanted to get the ball away, and luckily that wasn't picked off. So here comes second down 10. Rodgers looking to throw. He's going to get the ball deflected and knocked down. And it'll bring up third down 10. So good play there by the defense of the Panthers. Looking to get a stop here on third down 10. Rodgers shotgun formation. Rodgers looking. He's getting pressure. He's looking to buy some time. He's looking down the middle of the field. That could have been caught, and it is. A great catch by Cordell Patterson over the safety. And Aaron Rodgers, who had a lot of room in front of him to run, throwing it down the field at least 30, 40 yards. And Cordell Patterson coming up big on that reception. Two receptions, 54 yards for Cordell Patterson, who is starting to look like the third receiver that the Buccaneers envisioned when they brought him in in the offseason. Here's a counter play. Here's Eckler going wide. Eckler trying to spin off a tackle. Can't do it, but gets it down to the 12-yard line. Gain of three on that play. A.J. Boy with the tackle again. And it's going to bring up second and seven from the 12. But Aaron Rodgers with an excellent throw to Cordero Patterson there who makes a sensational grab. And here's a handoff to Eckler. Eckler trying to fight his way through. He's going to gain just a yard there. No, it was the backup running back, Walton Jr., on the carry. So they give Austin Eckler a quick little break. And now it's third and five. Third and five from the 11. Rodgers going 5-1. Rodgers looking to throw. Rodgers going to the back of the end zone. And that's going to get intercepted. And it's Demarius Randall with the interception. Didn't even see the guy coming. Didn't even need to force that throw, Aaron Rodgers. But he does. And it's going to be an interception. So one touchdown, one interception. That is what Rodgers is averaging this year. And so far, he's got that in the game so far. Here's high formation from the 8. The Panthers looking to get out of a hole here. Going play action. And wide open for Hunter Henry. And Henry has all the daylight in the world. This could be a 92-yard touchdown for the Panthers. And it is Hunter Henry when the Buccaneers brought an all-out blitz. Makes the catch and goes 92 yards for the touchdown. And just like that, the Panthers convert the interception into a touchdown. Baker Mayfield. With a, just a quick throw of Tondra Henry, but no one was covering him. Just took 11 seconds on a one-play, 92-yard drive. Hunter Henry, the tight end, going 92 yards to the house. And here's Cordero Patterson catching with that full head of steam. Patterson looking to make a move. Spins off a tackle, making another move. And a good kickoff return there by Patterson. Brings out to the 28-yard line. So first down, 10 from the 28. Rodgers looking to throw. Now he's going to hit his tight end. And it's Austin Hooper with his first catch of the game. And Hooper with a good gain of 22 yards and up to the 50-yard line. Rodgers giving up that one interception in the red zone has been his bugaboo all season long. Really trying to avoid those kinds of plays. And the Buccaneers might have had a better record. Here's first down 10 from the 50. Rodgers looking to throw, and he's got a quick slant to A.J. Green. And Green with another catch on a first down. And they go no huddle here. Interesting call here for the Buccaneers. This should be the last play of the first uh, of the two minutes mark. Rodgers looking to throw. Rodgers struggling. Rodgers going up the middle. And that's a nice catch by Huminawani. And the backup... 
tight end, Huminawani, able to get a big reception there. And we're going to reach the two-minute warning. So it's 10-7 for the Panthers. The Buccaneers do get the ball to start the second half. I'm looking to put up points here. First down, 10 from the 22. At the two-minute warning. Here's a handoff tackler. Eckler's going to get hit. And just a gain of three on that play. So second and seven coming up. Austin Eckler having a good start here in the first half. Oh, and that might have been on the defense. Let's take a look at that. If it's on the defense, it's a great call. And it is, and it's Aaron Rodgers doing what he does best, drawing defenses offside, and it's a five-yard penalty. So now second and seven goes to second and two. The clock does stop on the defensive penalty. Rodgers hanging off to Eckler. Eckler with a big hole there. Eckler still moving down and inside to the five. Austin Eckler with 51 yards total here in the first half. And the Buccaneers, again, in striking distance. We've seen the Buccaneers getting bit with scores in the first game against the Saints. When Todd Gurley scored a touchdown with no time. And then just two weeks ago, Nick Chubb scored time as time expires. So Aaron Rodgers taking his time, letting the shot clock go down. And he'll hunt this ball with about two seconds. Here's the handoff. Handoff to Eckler. Eckler right up the middle and into the end zone. Austin Eckler. Touchdown, Buccaneers. So the Bucks get a touchdown on that drive. And the extra point after will make it 14-10. Tucker's kick doesn't go through, though. Justin Tucker missing his first extra point of the season. And we have a three-point game. And the Buccaneers head coach can't believe it. My, oh, my. They missed extra point. That's One was blocked earlier in the year that resulted in a win for the other team. And now another missed kick. So technically, he's missed two extra points. One was blocked, and that one was just a pure miss. The doink off the post, and now the Panthers with all three of their timeouts. 55 seconds to tie this game or take the lead. Baker Mayfield coming off that 92-yard touchdown to Hunter Henry. Here's Baker looking to throw, and a nice little slant there by Alshon Jeffrey, and Jeffrey's going to get 17 yards. And a first down, and that's where the Panthers call their first timeout. So two timeouts left for Carolina. Looking to throw it. It's Hunter Henry again. And Hunter Henry having himself a first half. A nice route around the linebacker. And he's able to come up with a big gain. And all of a sudden, the Panthers are inside the Buccaneers territory at their own 37. Looking to throw down the middle of the seam, and it's Quincy Anunua. And three plays later, the Panthers score. Baker Mayfield with three perfect throws there. And just like that, the Panthers are out front 17-13. Quincy Anunua down the seam. Baker Mayfield hitting him inside three plays. 78 yards, just 17 seconds. My, oh, my. And the Buccaneers technically, not technically, they do have a chance. With 37 seconds and three timeouts to get some points on the board. All three of their timeouts for the Buccaneers. Rodgers looking to throw in first down. Looking to go up to the running back. And Austin Eckler is going to catch it. And it's a gain of 11. He's going to get hit. And the Buccaneers call their first timeout. So now up to the 36. Here's Rodgers going five wide. Rodgers looking. He's going to circle. He's going to throw down the middle of the field. And that one's going to get hit as he throws it. And it's going to come up short. So it's going to bring up 2nd and 10. 26 seconds left. 
two timeouts. Rodgers needs another 30, 40 yards to get inside Justin Tucker's field goal range. Here's Rodgers looking. Trying to go down the middle of the seam. And that's nearly intercepted. Trying to go to Austin Hooper there. So third down, 10 coming up. Rodgers going to hit Julio Jones in stride. And Julio's going to take it out. Still on his feet. Still pushing his way through. And out to the 46-yard line. One timeout left. 13 seconds left in the half. Rodgers looking. And he hits Austin Hooper in stride. And Hooper's going to get taken down. And this is going to bring up a field goal as time, the last timeout is taken by the Buccaneers. So Justin Tucker, who missed on an extra point on the last touchdown, able to come out for a field goal. This one from 45 yards to try and redeem himself. Here's Tucker. Trying to put three points on before the end of the half. And he misses it wide left. Justin Tucker, not his day. And the Buccaneers still see themselves down four. So four points that Justin Tucker usually makes were taken off the board. And he misses both to the left side. And here's Tavon Austin to start the second half. Here's Austin looking to bring it out. And he's going to get hit at the 25-yard line. And that's where the Buccaneers will start the second half. So the Buccaneers, who had a very good and strong first half offensively, a couple miscues defensively that cost him, but only able to come away with 13 points. And here's the first down. It's a carry to Austin Eckler. And Eckler with a big hole and a first down and a gain of 11. Austin Eckler off to a great start so far. If he could stay healthy, he is a good backup to have with Christian McCaffrey hurt. Rodgers going to give it to Eckler again. Eckler with another big hole. Eckler still cutting his way to another first down. And two first downs to start the game, to start the half for Austin Eckler. Ten rushes, 77 yards. That is definitely a good way to start the second half. But the Buccaneers are down four right now. Rodgers going single back formation. He's going to go play action. He's going to look. He's going to throw in a cutback, and it's A.J. Green. And Green able to come up with that reception. Nicely done, A.J. Green on the comeback. 2,000 total passing yards for AJ, for Aaron Rodgers on the season. And it's a first down 10 from the 41. Rodgers looking. He's trying to hit Julio, and that one is going to be incomplete. Rodgers, 13, 19, 208 yards, one TD, and one interception. Second down, 10 from the 41. Let's see if they go back to the run game. They've had a lot of success so far. And it is another run to Austin Eckler. And Eckler with another first down. Austin Eckler gaining chunks and chunks on each carry. He's averaging 7.9 yards per carry. And just like that, the Buccaneers are down to the 30-yard line of the Panthers. Rodgers going single back formation. Another handoff to Eckler. And Eckler with another big gain. And Eckler with a gain of six. And he's approaching 100 yards. Nicely done for Austin Eckler. Stepping in for Christian McCaffrey. Here's second and four. Green in motion. Rodgers looking to throw. Rodgers going to get tackled. And he's going to get hit by Hargrave. And it's going to bring up third down 10. And we've already seen the Buccaneers kicker Justin Tucker miss a bunch of wide open kicks. Kicks that he usually makes. And so we have a third and 10. And the Buccaneers are going to try and get a first down here. Looking to throw. Rodgers going out. 
And he's going to find Julio Jones. And Julio Jones coming up with the reception. A good gain of 14. Julio Jones really having a great, great season besides being hurt for about four weeks. Here's a draw. And here's a run play to Eckler. Eckler just cuts the wrong way. Only gains three on that play. And it's going to bring up second and seven. So second and seven. A very good drive. Looking to profit from it. Here's a handoff to Eckler. Eckler up the middle. Eckler still pushing his way through. And Austin Eckler over 100 yards and inside to the three-yard line. Rodgers looking to throw on the slant, and it's caught by A.J. Green. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Nice catch from A.J. Green, who's got a touchdown in each of his last five games. Doing a little Dougie right there. And let's see if Justin Tucker can make this one. Point after from Tucker is no good again. Justin Tucker has no idea what's gone wrong with him. He's missed two extra points and a field goal. That is just unthinkable from Justin Tucker right now. So the Buccaneers only lead 19-17. to And the Panthers get their first possession of the second half. But Justin Tucker right now, a guy who's usually a sure thing, just not able to find his rhythm today. Oh, and there's... Baker Mayfield going to get hit by Ryan Kerrigan and Cam Chancellor. Give them both half a sack because that was a big tackle by both of them. And here's the handoff to Foreman. Foreman looking to spin off and he's going to tackle by Sean Lee who's got only six rushes for four yards. And now a third and eight coming up. Sorry, third and 18. Here's Baker Mayfield looking. He's going to go under to Wayne Gallman. Gallman breaking a tackle, but can't bring a second tackle. And so they're going to be forced to punt it. They've had to punt on their first drive in the game and then their first drive of the second half. And here's Coro Patterson looking to return. Patterson's got some room to run. Patterson's going to get tackled and brought down at the 32-yard line. So the Buccaneers go back on offense. And you got to wonder, what is the thought of Justin Tucker, who's missed two extra points, as well as three, uh, sorry, two extra points and a, th a field goal. Here's Rodgers looking to throw. Buying some time. Rodgers able to come away with it. Rodgers running. And he's going to go out of bounds. He's going to fumble it. But he fumbles it out of bounds. So a good play and a good gain of nine yards. Nice play, though, by Aaron Rodgers. Able to see that no one was open and able to do the smart thing and tuck it away and run and gain some positive yards. Single back formation. Rodgers handing it off to Eckler. Eckler getting some speed, and that should be enough for a first down. And it is. Austin Eckler off to a great start so far. Over 100 yards for the second time this season. Here's Rodgers in the shotgun formation. Rodgers looking to throw. Looking for Austin Eckler. And that one's going to get picked off and it's going to be Randall again. Rodgers must have seen Randall come because he was right there waiting for... Austin Eckler, and it's his second interception of the game. Rodgers' second interception as well. So now the Panthers get great field position. From the 58. Here's the handoff to Gallman. Gallman with a big gain. He's going to get hit there by Cam Chancellor. And that might just be a yard short. And it is. Second and one.
feel like this game might come down to a Justin Tucker kick. Just saying. Here's Hunter Henry in motion. Here's the handoff. Foreman able to get some positive yards and truck his way through. And that was his best rush of the day. Cam Chancellor with three tackles in his first game back from an injury that kept him out all season so far. He's got the full back in motion. And here's Baker in pressure. Baker's going to get sacked. No, he's going to get hit by Cam Chancellor. And the ball is thrown away. And they're not going to call intentional grounding. But it'll bring up second down 10. Single back formation. Should be the last play of the quarter. Hand off to Foreman. Foreman gets a big hole. Foreman down the sidelines. And Foreman's going to go out of bounds at the 7. And Dante Foreman could have had a touchdown there, but decided to go out of bounds. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Buccaneers lead 19-17 in a wild one here in Carolina. First and goal from the 7. I'm going to go strong formation. Here's a handoff to Foreman. Foreman is going to actually lose a yard on that play. It's going to bring up second and eight. 24th in takeaways. Zero takeaways so far for the Panthers. They've given up two takeaways. Two interceptions from Rodgers. Second goal from the eight. And here's the draw play to Foreman. Run to perfection. And Foreman gets a touchdown for the Panthers. And the Carolina Panthers now lead 23-19 with an extra point coming after from Matt Bryant. And it's good. And it's 24-19. Six plays, 42 yards following the interception. So both interceptions from Rodgers have led to 14 points for the Panthers. And here's Cordero Patterson wanting to take it out. He's got some speed. Nice little spin move. Staying on his feet. And out to the 24-yard line. And with 5 minutes and 33 seconds left, the Buccaneers are down 5. First and 10 from the 24. Rodgers looking to throw. Rodgers looking for Julio Jones. And Jones is going to get hit the last second. And not able to hold on to it. So second and ten coming up. Trying to get a big chunk there. Now single back formation. Looking to hand it off to Austin Eckler. Eckler who's had a great day continues that. And it's going to be a gain of nine. And they go no huddle here. Rodgers getting quickly to the line. So they can't make any defensive adjustments. And it's Austin Eckler again. Eckler still on his feet. Austin Eckler, a big gain in 130 total yards. First down, 10 from the 46. Rodgers going play action. Looking, he's got Cordero Patterson. And Cordero Patterson with a big catch. And out to the 35-yard line. Rodgers going play action again. Looking to go in the middle of the field to Julio Jones. And Jones able to come up with that reception. And it's going to bring up a first and goal from the 17. Eckler back in the game. Eckler gets a handoff. A good block in front. Austin Eckler still pushing through. Austin Eckler having himself a day. 18 rushes, 141 yards and a touchdown. And looking for more. First and goal from the six. Here's a handoff to Eckler. Eckler trying to cut his way through and out to the three-yard line. And Austin Eckler is hurt. And that is going to be a tough one for the Buccaneers right now. Who absolutely can't lose another running back. Rodgers looking to throw. 
A quick throw to Julio Jones, and it's going to be incomplete. And it's going to bring down third and goal from the three. Austin Eckler, bruised shoulder, but he will fight through it. Third and goal from the three. Rodgers looking to the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Julio Jones, second touchdown of the game. And the Panthers, I mean the Buccaneers, who are only up by one, are going to decide to go for two, which is the right call, the way Justin Tucker's been kicking the ball. Rodgers looking to Patterson. Patterson able to come up with a two-point conversion. So the Buccaneers' lead increases to three. And Coral Patterson giving the salute. So 27-2014 is the score for the Buccaneers. Panthers, though, let's see what they can do. They've got three minutes and 55 seconds. We've seen them score twice very early on three, two touchdown drives under a minute. So here's first down and 10 from the 23. Baker in the shotgun. He's going to throw it. Baker looking to throw. Baker's going to run with it. Baker's got a ton of room in front of him. And Baker Mayfield taking a stiff arm and a big gain there of 25 yards. And Baker Mayfield with everyone covered doing the right play and taking the ball and tucking it in between his arm and running with it. Now he's going five wide. Here's Baker looking to throw it. And it's going to get picked off. And it's going to get picked off by Johnson. Johnson looking to return it. A nice little step back on Baker Mayfield. And Tremaine Johnson picks off Baker Mayfield at a most opportune time. Austin Eckler back. Soldier seems to be okay. Let's say his first carry. Austin Eckler is going to go down. And the clock is moving. 20 rushes, 147 yards for Austin Eckler. Second and eight coming up. Here's a handoff to Eckler. Eckler with some running room. And he's going to get tackled at the 17-yard line. And over that 150 mark plateau. And this is a fourth-ranked total defense for the Panthers. Just not having a good game on the ground. The Buccaneers offensive line doing a, an exceptional job moving that line. First and 10 from the 17. Rodgers looking to throw it. Oh, and he had Austin Hooper wide open. And he missed Austin Hooper. Second and 10 from the 17. Rodgers looking, trying to buy some time. He's got some room. He's going to run with it. Rodgers going to go down, and he's trying to get hit, and he's going to bring it out to the nine-yard line. 522 yards total offensively, and a good job there from Aaron Rodgers. And they'll take it to the two-minute warning. Panthers up three. Two-minute warning. I mean, the Buccaneers up three. Two-minute warning. Trying to add on to it. Rodgers looking to throw. Rodgers looking to the end zone. And that's going to get picked off again. And it's Tahir Whitehead. As Rodgers went for it all there. And it's his third interception. And just like that, he's giving the Panthers some chances. And some life. 27-24. From the 10-yard line. 
Field goal ties it. Looking to throw, and it's just a quick handoff or a quick screen pass to Wayne Gallman. And Gallman's going to get some yards, and the clock is running. Gets about eight on that play. Here's Baker looking to throw it again, and that one's nearly intercepted by Johnson. So third and two. Third and two coming up. Baker looking to throw it. Trying to go and he hits Anunwa. And Quincy Anunwa able to get a first down. First down, 10. Clock is running. All three of the timeouts the Panthers do have. Looking to throw it. And it's Hunter Henry. And Hunter Henry having himself a day. And brings it out to the 50-yard line. A game of 25. Five wide. Looking to throw. And he's going to hit Hunter Henry again. And Hunter Henry's going to take it down to the seven yard line. The Buccaneers are calling a timeout. Hunter Henry having himself a day. And the Buccaneers on another chance of blowing this game. Baker going five wide. Looking to throw. Baker to the back of the end zone, and that's going to be caught. It's going to be a touchdown, and it's going to be Alshon Jeffrey. And it's going to make it 31-27. Now you look back at those five points that were missed by Justin Tucker. And with two timeouts left, the Buccaneers need a touchdown. And I'll be out at the 25-yard line. 48 seconds. They're down four. Need a big gain here on first down. Rodgers looking. Rodgers going deep down the middle of the field. And Cordero Paris said can't come down with it. Almost another big play by Cordell Patterson. They can't come down with that. Second and ten. Rogers from his twenty-five. Needs to get something. Looking to the middle of the field. He's got Austin Hooper. And that one's caught. And they're gonna go no huddle here. Thirty seconds. Two timeouts left. Rodgers looking, trying to go deep down the middle of the field. And this one is incomplete. 22 seconds, two timeouts. Rodgers looking Hail Mary trips here. Rodgers looking. Rodgers going down the middle of the field. And that one, oh, nearly caught off Coral Patterson's helmet. Nearly caught by Austin Hooper. And now 17 seconds left. Two timeouts. Rogers looking. And he's going to hit Huminawaniwani. And we can't come down with it. And the backup tight end just can't come down with it. And now this is the game. Fourth and ten. And you don't even have Julio Jones or A.J. Green out there. Rodgers looking. And he's going to get a catch from Tavon Austin. And that is going to be good for a first down. And their hopes are still alive. 39 seconds to go. Uh, sorry, 39 yards to go. Seven seconds left. Rogers looking, and that's going to get intercepted. He doesn't even go over the end zone. It's going to be picked off by Thomas Davis Jr., and the Panthers are going to come away with the win. And the Buccaneers lose another heartbreaker.
What a tough way for the Buccaneers season to go. Three games in which they could have won and were ended up losing in the end. Just a tough, tough break for the Buccaneers. Aaron Rodgers throws four interceptions in this one. And that is just not a recipe for success. Three touchdowns, four interceptions, 20 for 36, 300 yards. Baker Mayfield, 13 for 18, 313 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. Austin Eckler having a great day, rushing the ball, 159 yards and a touchdown. But you got to look at Hunter Henry's stats, four for 183 and a touchdown. I mean, that was the game. A.J. Green, only four receptions. He did have a touchdown. Julio Jones, six receptions, 72 yards, two touchdowns. And the Buccaneers fall to a division rival for the second time this season. And it's going to be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers now 4-4 four and four through nine weeks. They're playing 500, which right now is good to be at the top of the league. Next week against Washington. Good news if you're a Buccaneers fan. Though, the positive, you can take away the first game all season long. There weren't any injuries. And Austin Eckler did have a good game. He was hurt, but he did come back. So the Buccaneers, who are 4-4, four and four, now f- are behind the 4-3-1 and three one Panthers and the 5-3 and three Falcons, and they've lost to both those teams. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next time against the Redskins, where the Buccaneers are at home looking to get back on track with a win.